touched on this earlier, Spice. R.I.P. Matulu Shakur. Pop's stepfather came home after 37 years sitting down, and um, he passed away a couple of weeks ago. How did you get word? Um, I just seen it on um, on uh, randomly on um, on uh, Instagram, and um, I had just got off the phone with uh with Mo Preem talking about all of the you know a lot of stuff um that had to do with the business and doing some music and stuff like that or whatever. I was talking about coming out there and kicking it with him in LA or whatever. And um I just got off the phone with him and then I was like after I seen that, I didn't I just I couldn't even call him my homie and say nothing after that. I just had to let that soak in real quick because I know mom's just passed, Pac is gone, now I'm a Tulu gone, like that's three people out of his life, and that's my homie. I'm feeling for him. So it was it was kind of kind of crazy to even call him and say anything. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh man, the guy uh was trying to uh get out the day Feeney passed away, you know, and uh, they denied his, his, uh, you know, his, his, uh, his appeal, you know, for him to to get out. Mm -hmm, And um, mm -hmm. the day that Feeney passed, and then I guess, you know, maybe, I don't know how long it was after that. Now he get out and then he only had six months to live. Then he gets out and then he, he passes away. And I'm like, man, you know, um, I no longer have my dad. I don't no longer have my mom. Um, Mo Preem no longer has his mom, his dad, and or his brother. So you know, it's it's you know, right now um, is a time for us to kind of sit back and reflect on what's going on and uh, figure out where we gonna go from here. You know what I'm saying? As 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 uh, OG Thug Life. <laughs> OG, OG Thug Life homies, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to keep pushing, though. So y'all stay tuned, shit. You know, if, if first and foremost, again, I just want to say RIP Matulu Shakur to his family. Um, and if there is a silver lining um, at all in all of this, you know, this man was sentenced to something like 60, 60 years. Yeah. He, he did 37 of them. But he was able to come home and and at least transition in the presence of his family. And that got to mean a lot. You know what I'm saying? That he didn't pass away behind that wall. That mean a lot. That meant a lot to me and, and everybody else that had love for him. You know what I'm saying? Like real spit. It's good to see, you know, he got out and, and got to maybe... Uh, uh, hang out with Mo for a minute, talk to him, uh, uh, and try to, you know... Uh, uh, Talk to people who he didn't, who didn't, he didn't see, and uh, or whatever. What like what? It was like a few months later he was gone. Like yeah, that, that yeah. fucked me up. Like damn, I wanted to see him. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to go over Mo Mo house, tell him to call Matulu, tell him I said what's up. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do all of that, but shit. Before anything, you know, before I could do that, shit that happened. 